Mo, it's, I picked the topic Tuesday. First up, Mike Brown was on the NFL Network yesterday, and he said Carson Palmer could either retire or come back to the team. What would you do if you could retire at his age? Carson Palmer's 31 years old. I'd like to consider he and I contemporaries. I'm 33 years old. You know what I would do if I was Carson Palmer and I had his kind of cash, and I don't know specifically what kind of coin he has, but i got to think he's got a pretty substantial chunk. I would sit on the beach all day today, and I would drink Budweiser's. And then tomorrow I would sit on the beach all day and drink Yingling's, and I'd have the kind of pool that I could get it trucked in from Pennsylvania. And then I would sit on the beach the next day and drink Corona's. And then I would sit on the beach the next day and drink Coors Banquet. That would be my day. That would be how I would fill my time. And what I don't understand is why those of us who aspire to that would begrudge Carson Palmer the ability to do that. All of us should aspire to one day, whether it be when we're in our 30s or in our 70s, to spend our days sitting on the beach, maybe with our wives, perhaps with our kids running around, drinking beer. If I had Carson's coin, I would spend the rest of my days on this planet, which are hopefully plentiful, sitting on the beach, watching the ocean, with my shirt off, basking in my two AFC North championships, drinking beer. That's how I would spend my time. That's how you would spend your time. And if that's how I was Carson Palmer, that's how I would spend my time. And it is flat out wrong to begrudge him the opportunity to do that. Okay, NBA playoffs. Game four tonight for the Bulls and Heat. Chicago has a chance to even out the series, but do you think the Heat will just run away with it? I don't think Miami's going to run away with it. I think Chicago has a game, maybe even two in them. Um, I think the series, and you've seen it, it's getting harder and harder to score. These are two really good defensive coaches. Uh, it's getting more tougher to score with each game, and I think that plays into Chicago's hands. And so I do think they're going to win a game, whether it's tonight in Miami or on Thursday night in Chicago remains to be seen. Um, but look, in this series, uh, the LeBron James and Dwayne Wade uh, handprints aren't yet on it. Game two was really about the defense and Udonis Haslam. Game three was about Chris Bosh, and it's really been about the defensive effort they've done on Derrick Rose, and LeBron James gets a ton of credit for that. At some point, one of those two guys is going to go off. Even if it's in a low-scoring game, and when, that's hap when that happens, uh, Chicago's going to have a hard time winning. I like the heat in the series, but I think Chicago is still going to get a game at some point. Okay, Bronson Arroyo, your thoughts on the pitcher? Well, uh, I like Bronson a lot. Uh, some have even called me a Bronson Arroyo apologist. And look, there are outings like the one he had last night that he's going to have during the course of the season. He has had them before. He usually bounces back. Bronson Arroyo has been uh, one of the best Reds pitchers of the last 10 to 20 years. At the same time, he's pitching with mono. And I don't know whether that's making him weaker, but Bronson has pitched two good games in the last month. Now, if there's anybody who can figure it out physically, if there's anybody who can figure it out mechanically, if there's anybody who can figure it out mentally, it's Bronson Arroyo. But the fact of the matter is, with each bad Bronson Arroyo start, it puts the rest of the rotation behind the eight ball a little bit more. This is a very inexperienced rotation. It is a rotation that, as a whole, is not getting the innings, or the team is not getting the innings out of them that they need to. And so at some point, they're going to have to figure out ways to get deeper into games. Now, we're pretty encouraged by what Homer Bailey's given them. I think we're relatively encouraged about what Johnny Cueto's given him, but the guy who's going to give him the most innings is going to be Bronson. And if he can't go deep into games consistently, and to be fair, he's gotten into the seventh and five of his ten starts, that's problematic, even if it's only a couple of times. This team needs Bronson to be really good. They need Bronson Arroyo to end losing streaks when he uh, is pitching at the end of them, hopefully. And they need him to give them innings. And uh, last night he didn't do that. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned because of what he's dealing with physically that he's not going to be able to do that as well as he has over his first five years here. And I'm not sure who picks up the slack if indeed he can't. Okay. Thanks. Email me, mo at ESPN1530.com or shoot me a tweet at moegger1530.